Welcome, uh, I'm Coach Sue Weber here at NCSA. We're gonna go over some video uh, breakdown of the middle hitter position. And remember, as we go through this, the middle hitter is also called a middle blocker. And why that is, is because they are involved with every single block, <laughs> basically, in this video. So you wanna see, um, you wanna put in your highlight video your blocking ability as a middle, your hitting ability, obviously, too, but also your transition footwork. So whether you're blocking pin to pin or you're coming off the net, how deep are you getting off the net um, and how fast can you get up and, and get those quick attacks. Also for the middle position, there's several different tempos that you can run. So you'll want to showcase all of those tempos in there. And college coaches are, are kind of have two different options they're looking for. It's a big, taller middle blocker um, or maybe a smaller, uh, quicker. Uh, middle that can run a lot of different uh, patterns and everything. So take it, you know, keep that in mind as we're watching. Keep that in mind as you're putting your video together. Uh, but let's take it, take a look at some film here. You want to showcase your best attacks and best blocks first in your videos. So let's see see what she's doing here. Some good quick attacks. We've got a slide off of one leg. So we're showcasing our different tempos and different abilities here. Um, she's also sh uh, getting deep in her transition. So look at this, she's already behind the 10 foot line, coming in, hitting to zone five. So that's a power shot. You also wanna um, showcase that you can hit different angles. So if you're hitting back to zone one, or if you're hitting to zone five, you'll wanna be able to showcase that in your, in your highlight. And there's a perfect uh, cut back basically to zone one here. She's way behind the 10 foot line, so she's getting ready to hit a, a hard three or shoot here. Um, and then showcasing some more abilities, going cross body, going power to zone five. So we're about a minute in, or maybe uh, 30 seconds in, I haven't seen any blocks yet. So we definitely want to showcase blocks in the first maybe five or six, um, five or six plays for sure. But these are some good transition. They're out of, out of serve receive attacks as well. So that way you can showcase not only your serve receive attacks, but you're also blocked to hit um, attacks. So there's a good transition block, transition and hit. So sometimes that's even more important to showcase to college coaches is that you can do multiple skills without the ball too, how you're moving how you're transitioning without the ball. So another awesome skill that you want to showcase is your blocking ability. Um, this player right here is showcasing that she's really working hard to get uh, a good jump, and get her hands over the net. Uh, so the higher above the net or the more you can penetrate over the net, that's what college coaches are going to be looking for, is that angle when that ball hits your um, arms or hits your hands, it goes straight down versus kind of up and then down. So it's a great uh, um, sequence here of showcasing her hand positioning and getting her hands over the net. Another thing you wanna showcase is your um, lateral movement. So what I mean by this is blocking pin to pin. So this is a great sequence that you maybe want to even put into the beginning of your of your film because she's moving outside to right side to outside. It's a longer rally and she, we'll see here in a little bit here transition all the way behind the 10 foot line. Come in and get the kill for the middle too. So great sequence to showcase your footwork, your ability to go pin to pin and then also to score at the end. Here she's taking care of the ball at the net. Another thing that middle hitters are, or middle blockers need to do is be aggressive at those net plays. So if there's any overpasses or close plays, you want to take care of the ball there. Here she's, she's playing that one rotation of back row, so she's showcasing her skills in the backcourt too. Usually liberos come in for middles, but a middle will serve and then play defense. So you want to put that into the, into the video too. So any defensive plays, any uh, serving, you don't have to have 20 clips by any means of your serving, but maybe one or two. And then any second ball uh, that you take. So usually the libero will take that second ball if the setter sets. Um, so you wanna showcase that as well. 
If you don't have a lot of opportunities in gameplay to showcase these uh, additional skills, then maybe even a skills video uh, to showcase it just in a practice setting so college coaches can see that you have those abilities and that you're working on them. So thanks for watching. That's the video breakdown of the middle hitter position. Uh, remember, you want to showcase your blocking ability and your hitting ability, but also transition footwork. So block to hit, um, you know, defense to hit, or even serve receive to hit. So make sure you're working on your footwork. Um, check out our videos on our, our page here for other positions. And if you haven't set up an NCSA profile yet, I can definitely encourage you to do that. So then you can put your videos on your, on your profile. You can get college coaches looking at your videos. And then you can set up a call with a recruiting specialist to get an assessment for your recruiting journey. So thanks for watching.